Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install uh, VMware Workstation in Windows 7. Uh, same procedures can, same procedure for installing VMware Workstation on any other operating system. So first step is we need to have uh, installation files for VMware Workstation. I have them on my C drive under the folder VMware Workstation 9.0. Uh, newer version of VMware Workstation is also available. It can be installed exactly in the same manner. So uh, VMware Workstation need to run the setup file. As soon as the setup file runs, it would extract all of the required VMware workstation files and after that it would ask for for these uh, options to be selected we'll, we would go typical and then go with the installation folder and we do not want it to check for the updates for now uh, at the same time we'll uncheck this it's up to you if you want to check the boxes not required uh, it would create shortcut icons on the desktop and so we would leave them checked and it should expand all of the files and then do the install now while it is installing uh, let's quickly go over and see what is VMware Workstation. Now VMware Workstation is a virtualization software that would let us uh, that would let us create multiple machines into Windows 7 uh, into Windows 7 uh, laptop or a desktop. Now what is the main advantage of using VMware Workstation? Uh, VMware Workstation can be used in the lab environments or in the test lab environment within any organization to test out uh, software updates, service packs, etc. In our case, uh, we'll be using VMware Workstation uh, throughout our training courses at CANAPS, Canadian Institute for Professional Studies. Uh, so uh, VMware, so this video is the first video in the series of videos for all of the new students uh, to, uh, to understand how to create their lab environment. At the same time, same installation steps can be used for any home lab, uh, home lab development or home lab uh, use as well. Now, once VMware Workstation is installed, it would you should be able to see this icon on the desktop. For now, it is installing. It would extract some more files. Once this is all done, we should be able to start VMware Workstation. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install VMware Workstation, and in the next video will go step by step how to create a VM and we'll also see how to understand VM virtual networking uh, how to create two different virtual machines and then connect them together so uh, I think I should better pause here let it finish and then I'll come back to the video so once the once the installation was completed, it is now asking for the to enter the licensing key. And if you have the licensing key, licensing key has to be entered here. Otherwise, we can skip and we can work with the evaluation version. License key can be added uh, later on as well, but it's better to enter the license key. License key can be obtained from VMware uh, website. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna pause 
the video here enter the last my licensing key and then uh, we'll continue so as soon as you enter the licensing key the setup will be completed and if you click finish it's all done all you need to do is to verify that VMware workstation is installed in this machine I would minimize the screen, I would go to all programs and see VMware folder and under VMware we can see this icon. Now this VMware workstation can be started from here or it can also be started from this icon. So from now on we'll be working with this application for to install all servers. The very first time when you double click on this icon it would take a little time to start VMware workstation now this is VMware workstation application all of your virtual machines that we're going to create would appear in this list and and uh, we would start from creating virtual machine so this video is about installation of VMware workstation in the next video I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine and uh, and then we'll go on to understand how to create multiple virtual machines and then uh, connect them all together. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this one.